When you're an employee, you just wait for the holidays to come for you to go relax and chill for a little bit. But when you run your own business, oh man, holidays are just horrible. So next week marks the beginning of the holiday season here in Israel, which means for a whole month, there's not gonna be any week where you work for the whole week. It's just like three days vacation and then two days of work. And it's, it's really scaring me in a way because I feel like I'm not gonna make any money because I have to cancel my, my client work. We're not gonna do any progress on Prospero. And I feel like we're super close to making Prospero awesome for people and now just delaying that for a month, that's really painful and it sucks. I'm heading to meet the new school partners right now, try to plan this month. Lior is also not gonna be here for the whole month. He's going to, uh, to Mexico for his honeymoon, so we really need to plan this month well if we wanna be productive and make something happen. Right, so that was a pretty productive new school meetings. Usually we start the week with a meeting and then lunch. And what happens is this day ends up not being very productive because then we go to nap and the day ends up not being productive. But today, because Ayal came back from Greece the other day, um, we had kind of lunch and then a meeting which gave me the whole morning to actually get a lot of things done. So we've decided to change that for good. From now on, we're gonna do lunch meeting and then uh, a meeting for the beginning of the week and then have the whole morning to start the week productively and I think that's a great idea. As I've suspected though, this month is really not gonna be very productive, which is really sad for me, but because there's only two days to work every week and we still have to earn money as freelancers and do client work, then probably we're not gonna get much done, which is really painful, but that's you know, that's a trade-off when you're creating a company that is bootstrapped and not taking money from investors. Things progress more slowly. But then again, we retain the freedom. And, you know, if we win, then we make all the money, of course. But still, progress is slow, which sucks. Anyway, I hope that we can launch the new business model by next uh, week and then start working on the new wizard with the new pricing tables and create really better value as soon as possible. Anyway, I had a productive morning. I'll still try to get more chores and stuff done to make it an even more productive afternoon. All right, done with all my tasks for today. And after the last Two weeks were really crazy. I wanted this week to kind of start taking care of myself again. And actually, I've updated to iOS 10 last week. I told you about it. And I got a chance to kind of see uh, the new health app that they did, which kind of helps you keep track of sleeping, eating, and doing activities and stuff like that, which is really, really nice. So it really pushed me to kind of re download my favorite M. Um, meditation app, which is Headspace. I registered for a year of subscription to kind of push myself into going back to meditation. I meditated this morning, start, you know, keeping track of what I eat better, sleep better. So I'm hoping to get back to being super productive, creative, and in a, you know, top-notch condition. I'm gonna take a 
you know, some time to get back to the book that I haven't finished a while back, started it, and kind of chill for the rest of the day. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah.